All right, YouTube, time for another video. Uh, this was just like a closure video. Uh, I know I kind of left the radio series um, with the 4G issues kind of die. Uh, the reason for that is just uh, I ended up selling the other unit, uh, ended up keeping this one, ended up narrowing it down to an antenna issue. That's what it seems to be. Um, for some reason, I'm just not connecting to 4G. It's not getting enough signal. I even upgraded the antenna. Got a nice fancy one up here in the dash, but um, it gives me a lot better connection with 3G. It just doesn't give me 4G connectivity stably. Stable, sorry. Um, that stability on 4G is still crap. Um, a user did recommend to use to take the radio out because it might be an environment issue with this with the setup right here on this vehicle, but all it has is this plastic dash, which I haven't even bolted yet. Uh, I'm still working with stuff in the back. And all this is plastic and there's no metal panels in, in between back there. So um, it's kind of weird because it does get 4G st stable when it's out of the, <laughs> when it's out of the dash. So he might be partially uh, right, he or she, I, I don't want to discriminate, I'm not sure. But um, they recommended I take it out. And I, I did connect the antenna and it was getting 4G out of the car. But as soon as I put it in here, it just, the stability of it just goes to shit, even with the antenna. And the funny thing is, is uh, um, I tried, um, excuse me for that. Um, I tried to, um, I tried to get uh, different antennas. And, and yeah, I did notice that this antenna made a, bit, a, diff a big difference. This was the best performing antenna that I had. I don't know, like the four or five that I had, styles that I had. And um, it did great, but still, even in here, it, it just doesn't do great with 4G. Um, I, I ended up even getting into the... I, I ended up going into the motherboard. Uh, I've noticed that con continuity between positive and negative points on the antenna were <laughs> continuous, but then nothing passed the socket which is meant for like a antenna rf plug uh those pcie plugs or i'm not sure what size it is i ordered one it was the wrong size and i don't gotta play guessing games and continue wasting money on that so um i just it was five bucks i wasted it it, it is what it is it didn't work out for me uh, so then i tried soldering it and the continuity still there like um i'm not i'm i'm not sure where it's grounding it, it's getting like a ground loop so I'm touching ground and then it's grounding further, further down the line as I keep continuity going down the trace. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that, if it's not supposed to be doing that. The bottom 4G antenna did that, the top one didn't do it. Um, so I thought one of those has to be wrong. It either needs to do it or it doesn't need to do it. So um, I first try to <laughs> make the set because obviously positive and negative should be separate, you know. Um, so I tried drilling out the ground point with a small drill bit and guess what i was still getting ground reading on the positive so i traced it all the way back to under the chip which is like the main brain of the fucking radio and i mean i'm not gonna go further beyond that if it's something under there i mean i'm not even gonna mess with that and that's what i ended up doing and ended up sinking that and what i ended up doing was soldering i just said well then let me just try and sink everything so i ended up soldering a point i mean i can't demonstrate it now and i didn't really take pictures but uh, I ended up messing with the PCB and I ended up soldering a point from uh, positive to negative on the board and linking it all the way to, to the point past the, the socket for the antenna and hoping that that did better. It, and it did do better with signal. It did get a lot better signal, but what ended up happening, it ended up tearing and it didn't end up holding. And it just became an issue. I just decided to just solder it back in place and leave it how it was. So I'm not sure what's going on with there, but uh, at this point, I guess the point of the video going almost five minutes into it is that I'm going to leave this as it is. I mean, this generation obviously has its issues. I'm not sure if it's um, if it's just certain units or it's just something with the chip. It's, it's grounding at the wrong point or they're not soldering it correctly. Obviously, this radio and the other radio has a similar issue. So I'm thinking maybe something that quality didn't catch on these units. So... Um, yeah, I mean, for now, uh, my plan of action is I'm uh, I have very limited space, as you can see here. I'm already over the AC vents on both sides. Uh, and this is a 10, 10 inch wide unit, you know, so the screen is 10 inches wide around like actually it's around nine something. I, 
I forgot I don't have my tip measure in here. Actually, I do. But, um, well, the point that I'm trying to get to is that I, I want to go into like a tablet build. And right now, what I'm trying to do is, is look for something. Um, let me get this out. Look for something that's so uh, about nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches by six, a little bit under six. So I'm trying to get a that uh, tablet. It'll kind of fit the similar uh, dimensions for this one. And um, I just bought that tape measure too. <laughs> I lost my other one. Uh, and um, because I do plan to fiberglass it into place, do like a fiberglass panel and charging kit and thing. I have this whole other plan that maybe I'll start filming once I get it started. Um, but for now, I just locked it in 3G, which is still working. But we all know 3G is going to be discontinued by most carriers pretty soon. So I'm just enjoying it while I can. But the point back is just um, I'm trying to get something to work with this dash, kind of make it part of the dash. I don't know, maybe bring it out from here. So I'm planning on buying a replacement one, and I'll just paint it silver. This one has texture, but I'm okay with getting rid of it and just painting it silver to kind of match the rest of the trim. But uh, yeah, so that's just gonna be my plan. I'm going that way. I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, on the go cable. I figured out a way to get. Um, reverse camera to kind of automatically pop up on Android so um, that's the reason why I didn't go with Apple is just I couldn't find an app that would do it you know right here like this one like you know I, I reverse and camera comes on automatically right it took, a, it took like two or three seconds you know but it did it like I could do it again so one two you know it take pretty snappy the other one that I measured uh, the fastest one I found was like about four seconds five seconds it's still delayed but I mean it's bearable you know uh, but with Apple, I couldn't find anything that automatically triggered it and popped up the image. Uh, and that's, that has to do with the, you know, security reasons and all that stuff that Apple tends to care about that Android is just like, I don't really care. So for that reason, I decided to go with Android. Uh, now the problem is if you're an Android user, there's not that many tablet options and size options. So pretty much everybody's going big or they're going small, but then those, those basic ones don't have all the functions that I need for, for what i'm trying to build with this so um yeah that's gonna be my next thing i just wanted to kind of make an update video what happened i also had a, a user ask me if my music app was acting uh, up so i kind of wanted to address this maybe at the end of the video probably the wrong place to do it because maybe most of you won't watch the whole video but um i did try um let me turn the volume down so i don't know um it's pretty snappy to me uh let me switch, switch focus so turn down a little bit so you can see it better um i don't know what it is is it that you press play and it, it lags um i'm not sure what you're trying to tell me i mean playback's pretty good i mean if i go to the next so i mean it plays it pretty yeah i don't see any lag i don't know i mean it's pretty instant you know Uh, so I'm not sure what the user was saying, but I, I, I'm not experiencing any, experiencing any lag. I just did this to test it for him, but um, I'll actually reply to him in the comments right now. But yeah, I mean, that that's my update for now. I mean, I'm just going to wait maybe two or three years. I'm going I'm to leave actually all the wiring for this radio in there since I already have it wired. So hopefully Joey won't fucking change the wiring on it. So maybe later on in the future, I could just buy a new unit with new features and just use the same harness. And plug it in if i want to test something like that out i'm gonna obviously keep this dash somewhere in the closet and then you know if i want to switch back to something else from the tablet obviously tablets are good for like three or four years and then you know they go to shit so uh maybe in two or three years joint will have something a lot better i doubt it but who knows so yeah that's that's pretty much my plan you know i'm gonna leave it like i said ready to go if i need to try or test something that's joint related uh related which uh them or um excuse me them or or uh the side are pretty much the only ones that do fairly quality and i mean look at the issues they're having this is the quality units uh manufacturers they have out there i mean but um yeah i mean i'll just leave it at that um hopefully i get the tablet and something that kind of fits or i might bring it out a bit and figure something to kind of clear this ac vent uh so we'll see but yeah 
got you guys an update and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.